Hello and welcome to my home club, the Neville, here in Kent, uh, where I'm today testing uh, Hillbilly's trolleys. Uh, I've used them for a few rounds here, so I thought I'd give you some thoughts and feedback. Uh, I'll start with Hillbilly as a brand itself, which probably many of you uh, are quite unfamiliar with in this sort of 2015. Um, they've been around for about 21 years, 20 years, so a lot of you might know them from the big sort of two-piece folding, big clunky trolleys. Um, as you can see, the new model for 2015 is um, a hell of a lot different. Um, really slim, sleek frames, you can see, lightweight battery, um, it looks great, um, really nice to use. Um, sort of one of Hillbilly's big USPs nowadays is that they sell direct to you guys. So there's no pro shops, there's no big superstores involved. It's just straight to you guys and you'll get all the savings on your side. So rather than paying for the marketing and all the, um, the pro shop costs, you're just paying for the trolley itself, so you'll save some money. Um, the other big Hillbilly USP is that the value you get um, in a simple to use trolley. Um, a lot of trolleys sort of nowadays have loads of gadgets, remote controls and stuff. Hillbilly is the other end of the market. They want to give you something really simple, really easy to use. Um, so if you're a push user or a carrier, this is a really great product to start with. I'll talk you through some of the aspects of it. Um, getting out the car for a start is really easy to use. Um, it folds up three ways. Um, and you've got a, a click on the front wheel, you've got um, another click point just below the handle and that's, that sort of folds the frame up. You've got the, um, the bag straps pop out as well and um, that's the trolley up really. It takes about 20 seconds, straightforward to use, anybody can do it. Um, once that's up you've got the battery to go in. Now it's a plug and play battery and that's a really big thing to note because um, a lot of batteries have fiddly wires which when you get a bit cold in the winter you don't really want to be fiddling around with and you don't want to be bending down, fiddling around with your back and all that sort of stuff as well after you're around when you're a bit stiff. Um, so this is a plug and play battery, it literally slots in, takes about 15 seconds, um, probably not even that, about 3 seconds if I'm completely honest. Um, pop straight in, pop straight out when you're done, um, really easy to use. Um, it looks great in the trolley as well, a lot of old batteries used to be big blocky things. This has been designed with the trolley, it's got a bit of a diagonal base you can see and it just slots in perfectly, looks great, sort of in its housing. Um, the dial on the top is all you really need, um, it's, it sort of keeps it with that ethos of being easy to use. Um, you press it to go, you press it to stop, you spin it one way to go faster and you spin it another way to go slower and that is literally it. Um, a lot of trolleys have sort of one to five settings and um, I find myself with those trolleys, I'm always walking between speeds so I have to walk a little bit faster or a little bit slower to sort of get around. With the Hillbilly you've just got this really easy to use dial that just spins and I think thought that was really really great for my personal sort of step speed. Um, I was always walking at a comfortable pace, I wasn't having to constantly speed up, speed down um, it was just a really natural setting, so I really like the dial on the top. It could perhaps do with some score lines or an arrow just so you know where you've turned it off, but other than that it's a really great bit of functionality. Uh, there's no other sort of flashy bits on the handle, there's no speed dials or battery meters or yardages. Um, you know, if you want those sort of things you could perhaps consider a model from Hillbilly's sister company Powercaddy because they do offer some of that stuff. But Hillbilly with this trolley they wanted to keep it really easy to use, really simple and really good value for money. So it's literally just got the dial, you pop it, um, press it to go, press it to stop and that's all you need really. Um, the handle is a really nice sort of triangle shape, it's got a soft touch grip on the bottom which felt really nice. I've been using a sort of an old um, handle where you put your hand through the middle and grip it and um, I didn't realise really until I used this how much of a difference it made, that comfort to have that sort of, you could rest your arms at a nice waist height, really soft grip. Um, you could sort of put a handle on either side and just use your thumb to rotate the dial which was really easy to use and um, felt really natural to use which is a plus point. You know, with a trolley, a lot of people, they think, I, I don't want to use a trolley, it's too fussy, it's, it's going to annoy me, it's going to sort of make my round more difficult. Um, so what you really want is something like that. It's really simple to use, you just spin the wheel, um, and you don't even really know it's there. Some other great points that I've been testing on the Hillbilly trolley as well, there's a smartphone holder or a GPS holder just to the left of um, the dial. Um, so if you want to look at the time or you want to look at your yardages, um, really great bit of kit. There's a bottle holder on the other side um, that fits big drinks and it fits um, just normal size sort of LucasAid Coke bottles as well so that was a, a plus point and um, you don't have to sort of rummage around in your bag it's just there ready to go. Um, what else do you need to know? There's some great wheels on it uh, you know every trolley needs wheels and these are really good and um, they sort of click on and off um, if you want to change them for winter wheels um, and they just you know really smooth roll nice tread there's no, they're not digging up the course just a nice smooth ride um, all the way around which is what you want. I've also been testing the Hillbilly cart bag um, £79 this model costs, it's got 14 dividers, 6 really big pockets, um, a slot for the rain hood as well, it's got a detachable strap which you can use if you want to take it from the car to the house, um, I've taken the strap off and left it in the car just while I'm out on the course, 
um, you know you do whatever you guys want really it's got a putt well on the side um, for easy access get your clubs out 14 way divider I, th I think every tour bag and um, cart bag should have 14 way dividers they're great and um, you don't have to slow down play sort of looking rummaging for your clubs that so you just know exactly where they are because everyone's got a slot what else do you need to know well there's a 200 watt motor that's whisper quiet now a lot of trolleys that I review they don't really deliver on this front but the hillbilly I'm happy to say does uh, even if it's going up a steep hill full power and um, really quiet you don't notice it's there a lot of trolleys sort of whir and clunk uh, that was nice and quiet which just makes your round that little bit more enjoyable when you're in a tranquil setting like we are here um, that motor is powered by the lithium battery on the model i was testing uh, the lithium trolley and battery combination comes in at 359 um, if you go for a lead option in the hillbilly trolley it comes in at 259 pounds um, 100 pound difference so what you get for your money with lithium well the main thing is lithium batteries last a lot longer uh, hillbilly say that the lithium model in their trolley will last for about five years whereas the lead acid will last for 18 months, so you won't have to replace it um, as often. Uh, Hill, uh, Hillbilly say the lithium model also charges a lot quicker, it's about eight hours to charge, which is very good, and it weighs about four kilograms lighter as well. So if you've got to lug it around from your car to your trolley or from your, your house to your car, and that's definitely worth considering as well. Uh, all in all, I, I thought it was a really great trolley. There was barely any gripes with it, but a lot to like. Simple to use, which is exactly what they say it is. Um, it doesn't interfere with your round, it just sort of lets you get on with it, really easy to push. Um, really lightweight moving it about sort of getting it ready and it's something that I'd happily put in play um, for the rest of the year if you've got any questions about the hillbilly trolley um, drop us a line comment in the video below and we'll answer all we can um, you know if you're on the market for a trolley or you're thinking of sort of going from carrying to electric or pushing to electric definitely give this a go let us know what you think if you do um, until next time bye for now